What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at this. Here, let me move the camera. How's that? Is that better? So today we're going to take a look at this bad boy. Now it's kind of funny. So we're going to take a look at this, uh, this sucker. Now it's kind of, it is funny because I just bought this. This is a, a Porta cable. And it's a staple nail gun, right? Brand new, just got it. But it gawned on me. Um, how am I going to power it? I don't have an air compressor, or at least I don't have a newer air compressor that would be capable enough to run that. So where do you go to get stuff? Harbor Freight. So this is the Harbor Freight Central Punematic three gallon oilless air compressor from Harbor Freight. And it's three, th uh, three gallons, it has 100 max working PSI, uh, a third of running horsepower, 0 0.6 CFM at 90 PSI, 1.0 CFM at 40 PSI, 80 dB sound level, so it's really not that loud, and of course it's 120 volts. So I thought, let's open it i hope you guys are doing all right today make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you're new to this channel subscribe and don't cost you nothing it's completely free and hitting the like button is also completely free so let's open this right here like so like that all right nice 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 okay how am i gonna get this sucker out this is always the fun part here is to try to Pull them out. Hang on, let me set the camera down. Go this way with it. Come on, get out. Alrighty, so nothing else in the box. Manual. So, there we go. Now the cool thing about it is that when you go to Harbor Freight, they got these already out of the box, just chilling. So you can examine it, look at it all you want. And they actually have a pretty cool policy where they will allow you to open the boxes at Harbor Freight. So it just has a standard thing here. Let's see what's on this side. Looks like you got an air bleed. Right here, go this way. Looks like you got an air bleed valve, a regulator, and then a standard one fourth. Um, what is it? A PT, TDP, or MPT, or whatever they call that style of valve. Comes with a handle on this side, so you got to remove one bolt. Looks like. like that and then you just well I don't know maybe you don't do it that way hang on let's get a screwdriver so we'll just loosen it there I guess I have to fully loosen it and able to put it in position really Okay, now we can refasten it. There we go. And we'll get our second nut and bolt put in here. So I think this is really the only thing that you have to do. It is oilless. It's an oilless pump, uh, air tank, which is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want anything where I had to add oil to it or you have to maintain it and do all this other crap to it. 
It looks like underneath here they got a dump valve. So that way, oh, there's air in it. There you go, you can hear it. And it has vibrating rubber feet on it. See that? Plastic, they almost look like suction cones, but they're uh, for vibrating, which is cool. You gotta have that, because I'm sure this thing vibrates like back and forth real bad. And it looks like above you have your on off switch right here, and then you have your fuse right here. Of course, you know, the max air compression of it is 100 PSI, which is more than enough to run a damn staple gun, which, you know, that's not too bad. Let's, uh, let's plug it up and see how loud it is. I am quite curious to see how loud it is. So we'll plug it in. Let's make sure that dump valve is closed. Alrighty, here's the manual to it. I mean, this is all that came with it, the pump and a manual. And set up, so you got the fuse, on off switch, tank pressure, tank pressure gauge, oil pressure gauge, pressure regulator, safety valve. Yeah, and that's a drain valve underneath. Okay, so you gotta turn it on and let it run for 30 minutes until the gauge reads at 80. So let's go ahead and flip it on. Oh wow, oh yeah, it's quite, it's very quiet. That's not bad at all guys, really. Alrighty. So the unit shut off as soon as it hit 100. See that? It's stuck at 100, which is good. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Shut off right at 100. Um, one of the things I was looking at while this was filling was uh, the manual. The good thing about the manual is that it is bilingual, so it has three or four different languages in it. Um, it expresses different types of diagrams in it. So if you want to hook up like a, a paint sprayer or, you know, an air gun and stuff, it shows you the items that you need and able for it to work successfully. And that's really good because if you're new at this stuff like me, I mean, you won't know what parts you need to run this. You would just think that all you need to do is hook the paint gun to the compressor, right? Nope, it looks like you need all of this other oiler, a dry valve, um, a ball valve. Like you need all these little individual things to make it work. Fortunately for me, I'm just running a regular air gun, like a regular staple nail gun. Which brings me to my next product that I showed you guys earlier. This is Diablo. It's a quarter inch, 25 foot poly air hose and it has a kink proof collar in it um, you do need the fittings like this will not just screw into that you gotta have air fittings to go with it which harbor freight does sell those as well but this is what you're looking for you're looking for these uh, quick connect starter kits and you can see it's the same brand central pianonamic it's a weird word to say but they're all one fourth and this is what you need. This is what one of these fittings will screw into that hose and then that's what will allow you to connect it. So I'm gonna open up the air hose and check that out. Holding it together. All right, Don, don't cut yourself. The good news is if I do cut myself, it'll be on video. There we go. All right, I got it. And we don't need that no more, do we? No. Nope. All right, so there's our air hose. Not really too much to it, just a standard air hose. Let's unravel it. So it looks like these are the two ends to it. So you're gonna need a fitting for this to the air tank and then you're gonna need a fitting from this to the gun 
or to the tool that you're using. And what you'll do is you'll look for something like this. Because in the starter kit it comes with these, that, but they're different. The, the distance between those and those is different and then the density of them and stuff is different. You can actually see that this one screws into that one. Okay, so we need to figure out where does this go? And then we got a another brack, another fitting like this. This would probably go to the gun, this fitting. And it's good to use thread tape. If you have a pipe thread, you might want to use that on here to prevent leaks. So you want to put thread tape on it like that and that will keep the air from leaking out of it. So you got your two ends. This end will go into the machine and then this end will go to your gun. The best way to do it is to pull back on this and insert that at the same time. And it should lock on and grab. If it doesn't lock on and grab, then you might have the wrong fitting and you may want to go to a smaller or a bigger fitting depending on what your application is. Now once you put it in there and you got it hooked up and it's seated and you can still feel air bleeding around it, then you need to stop what you're doing, take it back apart and retape it better because you didn't do it good enough the first time. So I have it hooked up here and as you can clearly see here, you can even hear it, there's air coming out of it. That's because there's no thread tape on this, which if I put thread tape on it, I will no longer have that leak. And as you can see by the gauge, we are losing air fairly quickly too. So and what you do is you just, whoa shit. Okay, don't do that. But that's basically what will happen once you pop it. It'll pow, it'll pop out like that. But anyway, that's the uh, Harbor Freight air compressor. Now, if you want to go and pick up this air compressor for yourself, it's $54.99. But here's the thing. Since the coronavirus took place, Harbor Freight will not accept it as a return they want a restocking fee for it. So if you buy this and return it, they're gonna want a restocking fee for it. They also offer a one year and a two year hassle-free warranty. And it's like 12 or $13 for a year and like $28 for two years or whatever it was. And basically, if you got the insurance, you better keep your receipt because they won't honor it unless you have that receipt that says that you bought the extra insurance. But if it does break, you take it back to them and they will give you a new one, no questions asked. You just better have all your ducks in a row when you go and do it. So with that being said, I'm out of here guys. I just wanted to show you all this. Um, yeah, it's my new air compressor. And we need it to run our nail guns and staple guns and and the occasional air gun to you know maybe take a tire off or something like that but if you guys like this please leave a like subscribe to the channel turn that hand blue it helps this algorithm quite a bit when you do turn it blue make sure to get subscribed and you guys can pick this stuff up at harbor freights they literally sell all of this stuff the starter kit the hoses the fittings Everything is all in one convenient aisle. So other than that, I got to get back to work. I got a whole bunch of stuff to do. Remember the last time you guys saw that? None of that stuff was up there. Just that was. But as you can see, I added all of my Dark Vader stuff and shelves. And I added the warning, always wear your helmet. Um, I have an eye wash rinse kit sitting there in case you get something in your eyes and you got to wash your eyes out quickly. It's coming along. Uh, we also can you see the new fan over there that I installed I installed a fan over there So that way it blows air in and out of here, but yep
thank you guys for watching. Probably the next video that we do will be installing our new LED light exit sign. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure to get subscribed so you guys don't miss it. Y'all be cool.